Welcome to Mentors Intellectual Hub. Just students, today we are again uh, with you in this very lecture. We are going to take up the poem Punishment in Kindergarten. Dear students, let us have a brief introduction regarding the poet who has written this very poem and uh, regarding the title Punishment in Kindergarten. The poem Punishment in Kindergarten has been written by a famous poetess of India. Kamala Das. And dear students, you know that Punishment in Kindergarten is a poem which revolves around the childhood experience of a child. The experience regarding the punishment during that, during that period when a child uh, gets admitted in the class. Usually in our system of education, a student gets admitted in class KG or nursery. So, kindergarten is basically KG class in which a student, a school going child gets admitted. But uh, the punishment, the punishment is given by the teacher to the student during the first entry period into the institution. So, delving deep into the poem, first away must have some introduction regarding the poet as Kamala Das. Dear students, the name of the poet who has written the punishment in kindergarten poem, it is Kamala Das. Kamala Das was born in Malabar, Kerala on March 31st, 1934. Kamala Das was given three names. She was very much famous with the three names. First pair name, Madhavi Kuti. Second, married name, Kamala Das. And uh, when she converted to Islam in 1999, her name was again changed. It was Kamala Suraya. And finally, she died in 2009. Regarding the poem, Punishment in Kindergarten. It is an autobiographical poem. The poet narrates the poet's narrates her childhood experience, her incident of her life, childhood incident. So it is a it is an autobiographical poem for a new student who has admitted in an institution. What are the different themes of the poem? Let's have a deliberation about the themes of the poem. The poem is regarding Picnic experience or childhood experience. The poem also revolves around child psychology, innocence of childhood. What is the mood in the poem? It is full of emotions, but it is angry and painful as well. Because the poet has remembers her childhood experience when she was punished by her teacher when she was admitted in class KG on a picnic day. The tune of the poet is totally nostalgic, she remembers her past, hence it is disappointing. What is the message? What is the underlying message of the poem, Punishment in Kindergarten? The message which the poet wants to give, put forth her views regarding the child psychology. It is that children are shy. Usually, children are shy and they don't mix up quickly. But a teacher must never scold students without knowing their reasons. The central idea of the poem is a shy natured student can be extraordinary sometimes. The poem has been classified or divided into three parts. First part or first stanza, it deals with the experience of a school teacher. Second, experience of children or classmates third experience of adulthood why the message is so much great given by this uh, poetess because usually we see in our life that uh, a student uh, minor student uh, usually gets admitted in an institution in kg class that's kindergarten class the poetess wants to advise the teachers that you must never scold the students or school-going children 
because they are shy during their first uh, year in the institution, especially during picnic days. Why? The children, small children are usually shy. They never mix up quickly with other students as well. They needs, uh, it needs proper understanding. Teachers need to understand the child psychology. They need to understand the children which are in their institutions. They need to know the nature of the mental setup of the children, of the students. Because we are having diversity, diversity of mental setup. Different students are having different nature, different kinds of talents. Even, an, even a shy student can do wonders in his later years of age. So it is better to understand the child, it is better to understand the student, especially in elementary classes, especially of those uh, students who are school going, who are newly admitted in the institutions. It is a kind of a message to the teachers that they need to understand properly the child before giving any kind of punishment or scolding. Why? Because uh, the poetess has undergone through this punishment when she was admitted in class KG. That's why initially we called that it is an autobiographical poem. It is the poem which revolves around the biography of a poetess Kamala Das when she was scolded by her teacher on a picnic day. So there are so many messages underlining this and uh, the chief message which the, uh, this Kamala Das poetess wants to give it is that never second students Teachers should never scold their students without knowing their reasons. For example, a child is late. For example, a child doesn't mix up. He does. He speaks. He is very much silent. A teacher should properly understand. And perhaps there are majority of cases that uh, we are having in our educational system that many students drop out their studies midway. It is because sometimes a teacher, a, uh, a teacher gives a harsh punishment. It is not only physical punishment, it is also mental punishment. He scolds, he speaks harsh words, he uh, utters different kinds of remarks, he labels the students so they feel very much humiliated and this humiliation leads to end their formal schooling. Now, dear students, before going to deep into the messages which are having it uh, and to the critical appreciation of the poem. Let us read it by reading by words aloud. Today the world is little more my own. No need to remember the pain. A blue frock and woman cursed, throwing birds that be like pots and pans to drain that only colored day of peace. Why don't you join the others? What a peculiar child you are. Here, in this very part, in this very stanza, the Kamaladas, the poetess, shares the experience of her school teacher. But it's irony that the school teacher of that very uh, poet, poetess Kamaladas, was also a woman. She, it was a uh, Expected she would have known her very closely, very minutely she would have checked her. But the chief irony is that it was also a woman who put this Kamala Das under strict punishment. The first part deals with experience of school teacher. In this very part, the poetess highlights the nature, the exact words, she remembers the exact words and the punishment of her school teacher by giving a visual imagery because the poem is also full of imageries and similes and metaphors. A bullu frogger, today the world is little more my own. Here the poet just talks the confidence that now the world is my, under my control. It is totally under my control. Though little but yet it is under my control. She talks with confidence. No detriment the band. She gives the answer of his own question, which is revolving in her mind. What? I don't need to remember the pain. There is now no need. It has gone. It is the talk of the past now. A blue frocker woman cast. The woman who 
who used to teach her during her school days when she was in class KG. She used to put on blue frog. This means the poetess Sita remembers the outlook of the teacher who used to taught her in her elementary class. Throwing words at me like pots and pans, train. She, she scolded. She used to scold the poetess during that very period. Very harsh treatment she used to give her. Like me, pots and pens, especially we use this imagery when we talk of a poor situation. To drain that only color day of peace. Childhood is combined with peace. One is totally absorbed in his own life. He never he has no responsibilities. So she would have enjoyed a lot during that very time, but it was her teacher who scolded her very badly. This led to the drain of the exhaustion of her energy, exhaustion of her peace. This derailed the peace of her company, of her schooling, or of her childhood. What were the words which the blue frog and which her teacher asked her? Why don't you join others? What a peculiar child you are. Her words are, why don't you mingle with others? Why don't you mix up with other children? Why are you alone? Why you are silent? Why don't you mix up and enjoy with others? What are the reasons? Why don't you join the others? What a peculiar child you are. The teacher branded her, the poetess Kamala Das, when she was in class KG, with the name peculiar child. We use this term peculiar for the children who are very strange, who are amazing. But here it is used in a negative sense that it is of shy nature, it doesn't mix with other students. Uh, but here, if we will analyze it, critically analyze it in deep, that is, the child is also unique there. It's also unique, though she never mingled with other children, other students. So in the first part of the poem, the poetess Kamala Das remembers her childhood experience of school teacher. The school teacher was a blue frocked woman who used to scold, who used to scold. Torture, mental punishment was given to the uh, Kamala Das during her uh, early period when she was in class KG. At that very time, she used to scold her. And this led to the brain of the peace for this uh, Kamala Das and she used to uh, get very upset. She was very disappointing because the teacher used often to scold her because she labeled her as a peculiar child. Now, in the second part, the child, uh, the poetess used the experience of children, her class fellows, her classmates. In the first part, the point is highlight is or remembers the experience of school, schooling and school teacher. How school teacher used to scold her, what led to the drain of peace that was only colored because childhood is innocence. It is full of innocence and there is perfect blend of pleasure and joy in childhood. But that used to be drained due to the scolding of a teacher. And the second part, we are having the experience of children. And classmates. What is the nature? The point is highlighted, depicts the nature of the class mates, students. So let's take it. On the lawn, in clusters sat my school mat sipping sugar can. They turned and roofed. Children are funny things. They laugh in mouth and other tears, others tears. I buried my face in sun warmed hedge and smelled the flowers and the pain. On the lawn, now in this very part, there is experience of children, students, what are they? Children usually, it is in their nature. Whenever a child is called it or beaten, other class fellows or other uh, his uh, friends, they usually uh, get a pleasure out of this. 
they usually laugh when others weep. So on the lawn, just in a park, in a classroom set by schoolmates sipping sugar cane. In the park, when the children were at on a picnic day, they were assembled in a small patch of park. They were sipping sugar cane. They were sipping sugar cane. Just were sipping different kinds of cold drinks. That means they were in clusters, refers to the children assembled in groups inside the park. Sipping sugar cane, they turned and laughed. When they heard, when they saw that the school teachers called it Kamala Das Poetess, they turned around and laughed. They laughed towards the Kamala Das as she was called it by her teacher by labeling, by branding her a strange and a peculiar child. Here, the poetess answers also the nature of these school going children that children are funny things they laugh in mirth of others tears it is in the nature of the students it is in the nature of the children that they usually laugh on when other children are in tears when they are weeping or they are beaten they usually laugh this is the answer given by Kamala Das by herself why they were laughing? Because Kamala Das was uh, scolded by her teacher by labeling him, by branding him a peculiar child as she was not mixing up with other children during the picnic day. They laugh in birth at others' tears. Children usually laugh when they see, when they see other students are beaten up, they are punished for their wrongdoings or for other things. I buried my face in the sun warmed hedge and smelled the flowers and the pan. Here the poetess depicts her own personal situation, the mental trauma she was undergoing during that very time. What happened? With the shame, she turned her and looked towards the bush and just uh, she rested outside on the back side of the hedge hedge refers to a bush like tree, small. I buried my face, she turned her face towards that bush in the sun warmed hedge. The sun was dazzling with its brightness. And so the flowers and the pan. Both things she, it is a juxtaposition there. She felt both things, flowers. She also smelled the flowers, but there was pain inside her mind inside her soul because she was scolded by her teacher when they were on picnic day and this led to the drain of the peace she would have enjoyed very much during the picnic day as we usually know that whenever a school whenever the school is on picnic or children go to picnic they usually enjoy a lot they do naughty things but it is absolutely uh, wrong and false on the part of teacher that even during the picnic the teacher scolds the poetess and labels her as a peculiar child. But we must not forget a shy, natural student can be extraordinary. So there is dire need a teacher should understand the child psychology and particularly at elementary level. Otherwise, otherwise the child will get dropped out from the formal schooling. And I think there are, there are so many keys regarding this. So at the last we will discuss regarding these things. So in the second uh, part of this point, it is the experience full of classmates, children. Children are funny things. They usually laugh when others weep. These are the words, this is the experience gained by Kamala Das during, uh, during her period of, you know, when she was in KG class and uh, during that period she was scolded by a teacher. Now the last and concluding part of this. The words are muffled now. The laughing face is only a pillar. The years have slipped long, stopping briefly at beloved halls and moving sadly on. My mind has found it in peace. No need to remember that picnic day when I lay hidden by a hedge 
watching the steel white sun straining lonely in the sea cut. The words are muffled now. The words are blurred now. They are dim, they are covered. I never remember them. Buffered here refers to covering of thoughts. Sometimes in our, uh, in our life there are so many incidents. We, they are muffled. That means they are, though we know them, though we, they are in our memory lane, but we never share these things with others because life is always going on. It's all, always on its wings. The laughing face is only a blur. Those very, those very students who laughed towards Kamala Das, towards the poetess, when she was badly scolded by her teacher. Now, this time, when she is adult, because this is the experience of adulthood, third part deals with the experience of adulthood. Now she hardly remembers the faces of those very students, the names of those very students. And the words too are muffled. Words here refers that I don't know the exact words of the teacher which she uttered when she scolded me on a picnic day. The years have spread along. This means the words have quickly spread. They have quickly now uh, passed. Stopping briefly, but the life sometimes moves ahead, sometimes it stops briefly. Why? Well, on those very instances where we like to enjoy, which are very favorite uh, memories of our life. And beloved hearts and moving sadly on. But it is a big sir, life is a here. The point is wants to analyze the life in its totality. At beloved hearts and moving sadly on, my mind has found my adult peace. The life has keeping going on, and now I am mature adult, full of wisdom. I don't need those, I don't need to uh, memorize those very bad incidents of my life. Here the poet also wants to give the message that despite different and difficulties, life always goes on. No need to remember that picnic day when I lay hidden by head, watching the street by the sun, standing alone in the sky. Now I don't want, I, there's no need, I don't want to remember that very picnic day which gave me an unfortunate experience of a school teacher when I was uh, scolded by the teacher and I was very much uh, frightened and uh, thus I lay hidden towards the hedge, towards the bush it, uh, and was standing lonely in the dazzling sunlight. So, at the last, there's a message, what the message is in the poem, it is the poetess wants to give message to the teachers of the society, whether they are dealing at higher level or lower level, but especially at lower level. Here the concentration of the poetess is the lower level, the elementary stage, the KG class, where usually we admit our gods, our newly children. They may be shy, they will never utter a word, but that doesn't mean they are lacking any potential, they are lacking any talent. A shy nature student can be extraordinary sometimes. So never scold. Teachers should never scold their students, especially at elementary stage, because uh, a, teacher, a teacher should completely know that there is diversity, rule of diversity in the nature. Children are different. Of, they are of different nature. They are of having different tastes, and they are coming from different backgrounds, social economic backgrounds. So a teacher should know the student completely. Then and then he should decide or punish him rather when the when the degree of punishment comes. But before analyzing the student, before knowing the student, a teacher should never punish a child, especially who is newly, uh, who is newly admitted in the school, because this could, leave, this could have a very bad impact on the personality of a child. And he may at times feel very bored at the school and he may end his uh, schooling as well. That means if a teacher doesn't appreciate doesn't uh, help the student uh, to uh, progress in his life. He should also uh, be a tolerant. He should also be patient because he is a social and general doctor of the society. He should understand the child in its totality so that a child feels at home when he is at school and he never feels that he is in a prison when he is in an institution. So we must deal very delicately with those children who are school going children thanks a lot thanks a lot and next time we'll be coming up with the next point thanks